Hey friends. Um, so in my last video, I had someone ask about what is the purpose or what's a recipe you can use leeks with. And so I thought I would share a recipe uh, with you guys today that might come in handy. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of one I haven't seen shared a lot uh, when it comes to wild leeks or ramps or whatever. So yeah, I will include the recipe here today. It's very, very simple and it's not my idea. It's not mine. I don't know where it came from. Um, I don't know who to give credit to this recipe for because it's all over the internet, but this is like a vegan version of it. So anyway, I'm going out to get a few more wild leeks so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But yes, um, recipe today. gonna go over here and get some wild onion and uh, garlic just because why not because it's delicious and it's here and it's available I'm in like behind my garden right now and this is where all the garlic and oh yeah oh my god if you guys could smell that it's divine I know I said I was just making a recipe with leeks but I'm it's just a in general foraged recipe now that's what's happening because and there's also cleavers or sticky weed popping up and like little baby nettles over here so I'm kind of I might throw in a few foraged items um, we'll see what we end up with but. Also picking a little bit of garlic mustard. Oh, you can't even see me. What am I doing? Okay, so I'm also picking a little bit of garlic mustard to throw in there because, well, one, we have a lot of it and I just want to get rid of it because it's invasive. Um, but two, all plants or all parts of the plant are edible, um, including the root there. And it, it has like a faint garlicky and mustardy flavor. So uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can dry it, you can freeze it, you can, make it into um, like a, a sprinkle kind of a seasoning to add on into other dishes or whatever but we have a lot of this and I'm going to eat it up and get rid of it and also the kale in my garden I don't know if you guys saw that older video the video from last year where I said oops I made a mistake in my garden and planted kale like way too early well I did and don't do that but um, the overwintered kale is actually doing all right and we have some little leaflets here that I can grab and use up and Got a few things here. I even grabbed some thyme from the garden, which is fantastic. And it reminds me that it's about that time to get cooking. greens thoroughly and bring a pot of water to a boil. What you're going to do is blanch the ramps in boiling water for 30 seconds and then take them out and rinse them in ice cold water immediately to stop the cooking. for a few moments and squeeze as much water out of them as possible.
chop everything up and add them to a food processor along with your vegan butter of choice and a little bit of lemon juice or lemon zest. Mix it up until it reaches a smooth consistency. Okay, so now that I've got it all blended up, what I'm going to do is put a little bit in a jar for like the next few days, week or so um, use, and then the rest I'm going to put in parchment paper, roll it up, and freeze it, and that way when I'm doing cooking or something, um, like if I want to flavor a dish or add it to spaghetti or add it to like flavoring tofu or something, um, all I need to do is slice off a little piece of the butter and put it in the pan and it's good to go. So. So here's a really simple example, just some tofu and cauliflower sauteed up in a little bit of the leek butter, and it's really yummy. Mm -hmm. 